Hey, Sunday morning service is over. Let your weekly service begin. Thanks so much for joining us on these Live It Out videos. I'm gonna remind you of something we talked about um, already a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to check in with you on it. But today we talked about finally, finally we get to talk about Jesus and hear a message from him. And it was a pretty straightforward message. He's like, the time's fulfilled. Like I'm here, it's, it's time. And he's like, the kingdom of God is at hand. So repent and believe the gospel. You guys, this is so good. I encourage you to really go back, pay attention to that message, or read through Mark 1 again and be encouraged with that. But the live it out that I have for you is this idea of waiting. We don't wait very well. As a matter of fact, I've waited a few weeks, a couple weeks, to come back and talk to you about Lent. We have this idea that God is like just longing to bless us, and that's a good idea but he blesses us in the middle of our waiting. He blesses us with more of him. He blesses us with self-control. He blesses us with seeing different ways to have our needs met, not different from what he provides, but different from what we think we just reach out and grab. So I'm gonna ask you today on the Live It Out, what are you waiting for? What have you put off? What have you delayed the gratification of? And if you haven't, maybe start. It's like a fast. I know all of us fast at night, right? When we sleep. But what about during the waking hours? What are you fasting from? Are you fasting from having to hear everybody's adulation? Maybe fast from social media and how it always, you know, if they like it or some people respond or whatever or agree with me, then I'm important. Jesus says you're important. You're valuable to him. My friend was talking about on one of our social media things that happiness isn't the goal, it's joy. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Joy, wait for God to fill you up. Don't just try to grab happiness. It's super fleeting and it doesn't last, which is what super fleeting means. So I encourage you, say no to yourself, whether it be drinking alcohol, whether it be drinking sugar, whether it be eating too much, whether it be sleeping in so much, whether it be a number of other things. What are you doing to put that off, to wait for God to show you more of him in a special and a precious way that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise? So that's my live it out for you today. Encourage you to wait, put, put it off. Maybe you even say goodbye to some things that get in the way of you in Jesus. All right, God bless you. Be strong and courageous and let it be contagious. I'll see you next week.